Hi everyone. So um, this is a quick, uh, quick tutorial um, to help um, help you learn how to build um, staircases, um, which are some of the more complicated things to build uh, in stage, and also um, they're super important because staircases uh, are how we connect the different floors of your uh, your tour together. So if you've got a ground floor and 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 some rooms that are part of an upper floor. Um, we need to we need to be able to connect them together in space, not just logically in terms of the navigation, so that uh, so that everything kind of fits together um, and the movement is proportional. Um, so this this is a, a super important part of our tour. If we go look um, in this tour, we've got a it's a fairly small tour of a, a little chalet. Uh, if we go to look at the tour editor, we can see the. 3D model as it current stands, currently stands. I'm going to switch on the nav map, and you can see the navigation map. Um, so things are pretty nice already. Um, you probably want to remove that um, pathway because we don't want to fly through the table when we're moving around um, in the salon there. Um, but you can see here behind the sofa, we're missing a bit of wall, and we're going to we need to fit in a, uh, a staircase. Actually, I'm going to move over. To that part, and you can see we've got the the walls all marked out. We've got most of the windows done. Some of the furniture here, it's pretty good. Um, there's a little way through to a bathroom there, and there's this little staircase tucked in the corner. So we're gonna fit this there. Um, Taking a quick look at the upstairs. This is the top of the staircase, so we've got to fit this top of staircase onto this bottom of staircase or this part of ceiling here and match them together. Um, we've got a little lip at the top there, so we're gonna have to deal with that um, so um, and then that will enable us to uh, create uh, the rooms we need if I go to the plan view in the tour editor here we can see the other rooms these are all for the second floor um, so we want to be able to attach the second floor to the top of the salon about here um, so that it shows up right so I'm going to start by putting the walls we need into the salon um, so we can see that we've got um, a wall coming down here um, and perhaps the quickest way to draw that out will be to put a little cube on oops that's a cylinder I don't know why I've got a cylinder then um, <clears throat> looks about right and then I can pull that down and we can see when we're reaching the floor because of the way it's positioned relative to the other wall. I'm just going to pull that back to make sure it's intersecting. We don't have a hole. So we've now got that in place. Um, what we could do next is copy that, Control-C, Control-V, and then pull this out to about the right position there, bring it down, and then Control-C, Control-V again, lift this one up, and then here we're going to turn it into a wedge by removing that corner. And so we've got something that's broadly speaking just what we want. I'm going to lift it up a little bit so it's actually in line with the angle of the banister uh, and there we've got something that will work a lot better. If I pop back over to here while we're looking at it we can see that it's, it's fitting pretty well. Um, there's a, a little little overlap from this panel but that's okay we're not going to notice that when we get close to it. So that's good and now what we want to do is put in another wedge um, that will actually represent our, uh, our staircase. So there's a final step that comes a little bit out from the uh, a little bit ahead of the wall there I think that's just a lip I think so I'm going to put the bottom in line with this edge coming forwards just a little bit and then I'm going to bring that back to here so we're fitting inside that space for the staircase and then we can lift this right up that top point and again turn it back into a wedge and there we've got something that's pretty good it's actually looks like it's pointing a bit higher so that suggests that the floor line at the top is probably more like that um, maybe even a bit lower still we're gonna have to go check that so now you can see we're actually following bottom step which is good um, may actually be better to follow the top step. So I'm going to pull this forward a little bit and then lift that back up so we're following the top step instead. That's good. 
And that's more than enough detail to give us the, the sense of moving up the stairs when we're looking at it. Let's come over here. And we can see we're short, just shy of the top step there. That's actually the the distance um, between of the sort of the beam height between the floors. Uh, that's fine. Um, what might be nice would be to lift this up to that height, which is actually there, isn't it? And then push it back, come over here, and then push it back into that wall. We're not going to see it on the other side um, because there's the wall there, but um, it will allow us to have a continuity without any holes. So I'm just going to do that. That's cool. Um, now the next thing we want is to mark out our, our, our staircase. In fact, I'm going to go to the upstairs because we've got a much clearer demarcation here. First thing I'm going to do is we've got this little cutout here. So what we're going to do um, for that is we're going to draw diagonally to get our door. Um, and I'm going to do a none door with almost no thickness and fit that onto there so that we cut out that space going back. We'll need to make sure that we do something equivalent on the other side, um, but that'll do for now. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is put this door in here. Now we need to be a little bit careful and make sure that we're getting the height right because you've got a couple of options for doing this. You could do it with a thickness door that's equivalent to the gap between the floors, or you could do it with a zero thickness door. So if we look at where our ceiling height is, we're actually around the, the real height of the floor. So we're above the beams. So in this case, I think it'll be better to make the door zero thickness. Um, upstairs hallway stairs, so we can find it in a minute. And now we're going to place that upstairs hallway stairs door into the space um, we've set up for it so probably something like that um, and we need to check because these doors will control the orientation room so I'll go from the top it's on the right so for the bottom it should be on the left that's fabulous um, and then we've just got this little space here which we can see we need to cut it out so I'm going to go and create another little door here which we'll use to so cut out that bit to that bit right up to the edge of the other door and that's a nun as well make sure this is a nun oh, that should be a nun as well now having put it in both things I will have to so it's a nun and that's enough. Okay, so we've got um, those provisionally made. Now um, we've got our, our door there. What I can do is I can pull out uh, upstairs hallway. Like so it's going to place it automatically. I'm going to undo because I don't want it to be placed just yet because what I want to do is select it and add a second floor tag to it. Um, and now so we've got two floors. Um, and upstairs hallway is a member of both second floor and ground floor. This is good because what it means we can go back to ground floor here and snap that door onto that. And if we take a look now, model view, we'll see that our door uh, has positioned the upstairs room correctly in space relative to the ground floor. Uh, the next thing to do, we've got a little bit of an issue where it's not quite aligned perfectly. Um, so I'm going to go to the second floor, select it and move it back to where I think it should be. Uh, and that looks much better. All right. So now what we can do is with second floor selected, we can start bringing in um, the other upstairs bedrooms. And um, we can see that they snap into place because they have the correct doors, um, but they're snapping into place on the correct floor. So now when we switch floors, now the final thing to do is to select our upstairs hallway and remove the ground floor from it. So now we've got ground floor upstairs. And if we go look at the model view, we can see that everything's placed correctly. Um, looks like it's got a pretty good uh, navigation map. 
Um, it's pretty simple, so I'm going to go back to preview um, and you can check it out. See what it looks like. So that's pretty good. And there we go. Um, we've created a uh, nice little tour um, and we've connected our two floors together quite elegantly. Thank you very much.